Greetings, fellow detectives. Wizard Kitten here, bringing you part two in our walkthrough for Nancy Drew Alibi in Ashes. We just got done exploring Nancy's room and house. We are currently playing as Ned. So uh, I think our next step is to go and try to find the note that Nancy was talking about at the old town hall. Now, if you watched the first video, you know that I was having a really hard time actually finding the old town hall. I feel like it's very close to the police station. Like, it's got to be right near here, right? The schoolyard. The scoop. It's like, it's got to be in this area. Old Town Hall, I found it. It's got a giant hole in it. That's kind of a giveaway, isn't it? That it's got a giant hole in the roof. So it's probably the building that got destroyed in a fire. There you go, Ned. Okay. So, if we look right here, uh, we have to go around to the side. If you go right to the front, this the must police, be the note Nancy needs. The police will arrest us. Um, but you can walk around on the side a little bit. They will catch you if you try to just climb in. So, we don't want to do that. I can't get up there, it's too high. Plus, we can't do that right now. So, let's go ahead and deliver this note to Nancy at the police station. So we go to the police station and then we drop it off in the, it's like a drop box for evidence, which is a little bit weird that the police just have this like package drop and that you could just like put evidence in it. It's like, here you go, here's evidence for a crime. Not that that's I should call Nancy. weird or anything. <laughs> okay, call Nancy at the police station. Were you able to find the note? Yes. Great. If you can put the note in the drop box at the police station, I'll pick it up and take over from there. I'm turning the case over to you. I'm on the case. Listen, I'm just doing my job here, Nancy, but I don't see any need to keep you locked up. If you want to prove your innocence, I'm not going to stand in your way. This is a police station. Don't let me catch you messing with anything. Get me? Don't let me catch you. One more thing, we've got an evidence board in the station we track cases with. If any compelling evidence were to show up regarding your case, I would consider taking a look. So basically, Chief McGinnis kind of knows that we didn't do anything, so he's letting us solve our own case, essentially. He's letting us um, try to prove our innocence. So um, obviously you can't just, we can't walk out the doors because then we're escaping arrest. Oh, they must have picked that up already. So this is where the drop box is. This is where our friends will bring us stuff. Anything over here? Charles Cheeseburger Head says, stay in shape by exercising and eating right. You are what you eat. Why is it a cat? Pollute and get the boot. Interesting. Okay, so we have desks of all, all the like um, cops that have been working around here. So uh, if we go over here, we notice that Hannah. Snacks. Oh, Hannah, you always know how to cheer me up. I'm on my way back from your Aunt Eloise's um, reference to Secrets Can Kill and Stay Tuned for Danger. I can't stand the thought of you being held by the police. What were they thinking to arrest you? My flight doesn't arrive until late tonight, so I'm sending you these power snacks until then. You'll need the energy to be cracking this case. Love, Hannah. So both Hannah and Carson are out of town, but... Hannah sent us a bunch of snacks, and these ones are from Mornings at Waverly Academy, the same one in the snack shop. We got an orange. Yum. Nice. And Nancy can just, like, binge these snacks. And this one is from Trail of the Twister, mm. The Raging Infernos, mm -hmm. all sorts of things. Grape juice from the Mornings mm -hmm. at Waverly Academy place. I think that's enough for now, Nancy. Enough snacks. Okay, what do we got? I need to use the public line to make a call. So I used that line. This is a fingerprint scanner. Cool, cool. Can we get on the computer? I need to find the password. Maybe it's somewhere around here. Okay, so we need to find a password. And then there's this book about arson. When a fire is suspicious, additional investigation is necessary to confirm whether or not the fire can be classified as arson. This investigation is essential to tracking down the responsible parties. And it tells us kind of all of the things that we are supposed to do at the scene, which they would have already done. But after the fire, 
It's analyzing witness statements for accuracy, analyzing fire flow, looking for accelerants, obtaining insurance information, all sorts of stuff. So that's kind of a guide for what we're looking for. This case is cool because we're kind of solving it as though we are police detectives. There's no card in here. No card in here. Okay. Krollmeister. Um, technology right there. I need to use the public line to make a call. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay. Anything? We can't look at this binder, it looks like. Uh, there's our holding cell over there. A uh, bunch of lockers. Uh, little captive curse German dolls. Um, broken TV with a crowbar. I don't know if that's from anything, but it's kind of interesting. So those are evidence lockers. We've got a duffel, another police desk over here, which I don't think we can get into. Suspect This is the profiles. case board. Track your case on it. You got enough to pin this on someone else? Push that button and give me a call. It would have been nice if they had focused on any other suspects. Right? <laughs> they only have information against us. We had matches, apparently, and then this note um, puts us at the scene, and then lab report pending. So these are our other suspects. Alexi Markovic, Tony Scolari, Deirdre Shannon, and Brenda Carlton. And we want to try and peg it on somebody else so that they'll let us go. They have reason to let us go. And then the chief is in here. So you're calling to say you lost the evidence locker key? Oh, that's some great police work there, rookie. I'd better listen in. Where'd you see it last? Pancake City? I don't recall Pancake City being part of your beat. Go find that key. I should send someone to Pancake City to find that key. Is there a lot of crime in Pancake City? Well, it's good to know you're keeping the mean streets of Pancake City free from crime. No, it doesn't make me less angry to hear you're embarrassed. Go find that key. Flip Pancake City over if you have to, but find that key. You did not just ask me if that was a pun. Do I make puns when I'm angry? No. When I'm angry, I ask rhetorical questions and fire rookie detectives. <laughs> the chief is a little cranky. Uh, so we'll want to call someone and send them over to Pancake City to see if they can find the evidence locker key. That's a helpful little blunder. This will help us analyze accelerants, I believe. And I think that's all we can do right now. So we better give someone a call. Ned already helped us out. Let's maybe call um, Bess or George next. Let's call Bess. Hello? Bess, it's Nancy. Nancy, what's going on? How are you? All right for now. I'm not going to be able to get out of here until I can prove that I'm not the one who set the fire. We'll do anything you need to help get you out. I found the police investigation board. Perfect. It looks like we're on the right track so far. They've narrowed everything down to just a few suspects. Who do they suspect? <sighs> Tony from over at Scoop. Alexi from the antique store, Brenda Carlton, and Deirdre. And, of course, me. Good. We'll keep an eye on all of them. Especially that Nancy Drew. She just sounds guilty. <laughs> I need your help finding a key. All right, what's the story? I need to get into the evidence locker. Detective Ryan lost his key. I need one of you guys to find it. Any idea where we should look? Yes, try checking out Pancake City. Sure thing. I'm passing the case to you, Bess. Time to help Nancy. Alright, so this is Bess's phone. And as usual, you can um, look at the previous games, which I think is really fun. So we have The Haunted Carousel, Danger by Design, The Captive Curse, Stay Tuned for Danger, Warnings at Waverly Academy, and Legend of the Crystal Skull. Uh, several of these games I really like. Um, big fan of... Uh, stay, mm, oh, well, honestly, I mean, we gotta go with Waverly. Waverly, I think, is just a perfect game, so. Ooh, Sparkle is good. <laughs> That's the music that plays when Bess made Lamont sneeze in, um, <laughs> Legend of the Crystal Skull. That's kind of funny. That's hilarious, actually. And then a cat. 
Let's do the game, because I think that's super funny, and Lamont would not be pleased to know about that. Detective Ryan lost his key at Pancake City, so that's going to be our next go-to. Ooh, we can talk to someone this. Hello. Hey there. Didn't expect to see you here. I thought you'd be jailing it up with that firebug friend of yours. Shouldn't you be baking her a cake with a saw in it or something? Hi, Dee Dee. Dear Dra. I know it's got that tricky second syllable, but I figured it out by age two. Don't give up. You'll get there. I think you look like a Dee Dee. And I think you look like you got dressed in the dark. If you want to talk to me, and let's face it, most people do, don't call me Dee Dee. <laughs> Where were you during the fire? Are you investigating me? That's so cute! You were just priceless! I know you don't mean that as a compliment, but I'm taking it. That's it? No follow-up? What is this? Good cop, no other cop? You're going to have to tell us what happened eventually. Or what? You can't make me do or say anything. I know my rights. Would you say that you hated the old town hall? You guys just don't stop, do you? I did not start the fire. Catch you later. Goodbye. Got defensive rather quick there, eh, Deirdre? Okay, let's head into Scoop. So this is the ice cream shop, and this is Tony, the owner. Every time we're in here, I totally think we should order something, because look at all these choices. Honestly, if I came in, I love to imagine, if I walked into Scoop, what would I get? And honestly, I'd probably do something like coffee-flavored, like this cappuccino cream coffee-flavored ice cream, or the coffee candy, coffee-flavored ice cream with coffee candy pieces. Oh, that sounds so good. That sounds like, is that a shake, though? That's a shake. This is just homemade ice cream, and then these are ice cream sodas. Oh, and the Acorn Harvest chocolate ice cream with caramel swirl and Auntie's acorn pieces. Oh, okay, we're gonna go with Acorn Harvest. Yum. Yeah. And we're gonna eat all the ice cream. Well, hey there, kid. How are you holding up? I'm okay. Sorry to hear about your friend. Never expected something like that from her. This must have been pretty rough on you. She didn't do it, really. You've got to believe me. Bess, I believe you. I believe that's what you think. We never know what someone is capable of until it's too late. She's innocent. Really innocent. I know it. Uh, all right, all right. I, I wasn't trying to upset you, Bess, I promise. You're very protective of your friends, and that's a good thing. She's got a lot of evidence stacking up against her right now. You can't deny that. I know the case against Nancy looks pretty strong, but I consider you a friend. Maybe you could help? You're a good friend, Bess. Just make sure you're not sticking your neck out for someone who doesn't deserve your trust. Where were you during the fire? I really shouldn't be talking about this. Okay, this off the record? Yes. I was out canvassing the area, planting signs, shaking hands, the whole thing, you know? And suddenly, I see smoke and run to check it out. When I get there, the whole town hall is lit up, just like out of Hollywood or something. Unbelievable. That's where my first job was, you know? You worked in Hollywood? That's awesome! No, I worked in that building. That was a billion years ago. Oh, would you believe that back then I shared an office with Tommy Lindenson? He's city council upstate now. Such a cutie. Most of the good-looking ones are dumb as a big box of stupid, but not him. Hard to keep my eyes on my work when he was around. <laughs> Listen to me. You don't care about that. The fire. That's what we're talking about. Right. I called it in, and then I waited for the fire department to show up. That's the end of that. Who did you see at the fire? I saw Nancy, but you knew that. Saw Alexi, too. Do you think Alexi would have started the fire? Between you and me? That one's a walking cautionary tale. What's that mean? It's not my place to talk about it. Sorry, Bess. Why did you close the shop yesterday? Oh, Bess. It's not good. It's just me. I had to let the staff go. I'm sure it'll pick up. Thanks, Bess. I hope you're right. Can I have some ice cream? Of course! I'll help it pick up. Okay, we tried the acorn harvest. Let's do this coffee candy shake. Cause that sounds so good. Look at that. Oh my gosh. Ice cream and gelato are probably my favorite foods. 
So this is a very helpful map of River Hall. River, river. River Heights, there we go. I just, my brain shut off for a second and I couldn't speak. We have this anagram machine over here that you can play, um, this swap-a-lot game. So we'll just do a quick one. And it, these are all cookies and quotes from previous games. So um, just like in the last game, um, let's see, just like in the last game, it's good to do the smaller words first, but this looks like shouldn't. So that's probably an easy one to fix. The, the, I'm trying to figure out what this word is. Is this, what's this one? If, is this if? Da da da, something if she, no, if the, um, I, those are easy, the one letter words, I, two, I, let's see, this looks like it should be people, but I don't think it is, no, if the, is, the, something, I, should, should something, the, something. Shouldn't I then, oops, shouldn't I then go to hmm, him? Maybe it's him. Yep, him. Him. The something. Let's see, this first word, oh, but, but if the person, person I suspect, but if the person I suspect, uh, the least is the her person I should suspect the most, shouldn't I then go back to suspecting him the least? I don't know who said that quote. If you know, let me know in the comments down below, but I don't know that one off the top of my head. So you can just play this game. It's just a side game. It doesn't do anything, but it's fun. Um, yeah. Okay, cool. So we needed to go to Pancake City, Coco Kringle sticker, by the way. This is where Bess will be sitting when we're not playing as her. Okay, let's go to Pancake City, which I think was over here somewhere, because there's the antiques. That's the Pizza Palace, Old Town Hall, Pancake City. Detective Ryan, I think you said he was going to Mabel Rose's? That sounded like Tino Balducci. Is Tino working at Pancake City? Okay, Mabel Roses. Where does Mabel Rose live? Aha! There she is. Okay, he's going to Mabel Roses. Detective Ryan? I think he went to the antique shop. Oh, antique shop. Okay, that's down here. Okay, is it open? Yes, it is. Awesome. Oh! Oh, oh, oh! oh catch it! Catch it! Catch oh. oh! Oh, no! How will you be paying for the vase you broke? Um, I don't know if I can afford it. I don't like you. You break things. I'm sorry. Oh, did you hear that vase? She's sorry that you made the long trek from China to Europe where you survived two world wars and countless natural disasters. Only to be unceremoniously kicked to death by some space cadet for no reason! Not that that matters now that you are dead! I'm sorry, it was an accident. I didn't... do that. 
Oh, well, if it was an accident, then I'm not mad. Really? I thought your generation was supposed to be good with sarcasm. Scram, kid! Give me some space to mourn! Do us both a favor and stay out! Okay, problematic. Um, Alexi will refuse to let Bess do anything in the store. Um, so Bess has to leave. <laughs> so we will we'll kick Bess out, and then we're going to have to switch to a different character. But I think we will start that in the next part. Thank you so much for watching, fellow detectives. I will see you soon.